Albertsloen, een voorstad van de Deense hoofdstad Kopenhagen. Meer dan een kwart van de bevolking is hier van vreemde origine. Vooral in de sociale woonwijken groeit het aantal nieuwkomers snel. Daarom neemt de gemeente al in de jaren 80 een drastisch besluit. Voor kinderen met een migratieachtergrond is er geen vrije schoolkeuze meer. De decision was made back in the mid of the 80s uh, when we could see that the a bigger part a still bigger part of the pupils would have migra migration background. So we decided that to, to do something about that because if we hadn't taken that decision that time then we will end up with schools only with pupils from migrant migrant background and in that case they will not meet the Danish language they will not meet the Danish culture they will not meet uh, Danish teachers and, and in that way learn about uh, about the Danish society so it's about creating a society where we all can be a part of Steen Christiansen is al bijna tien jaar burgemeester van Albertsloen en erkent dat er problemen zijn op het vlak van integratie. Maar bij de partijtop van de Sociaaldemocraten wordt er jarenlang niet naar hem geluisterd. De Social Democratic Party in general has not well listened to the problems. If you look at the area that we are in, uh, in Albertsloen and in our neighboring municipalities, the mayor of this, the mayors of this area, has been for many years saying to the leadership of the Social Democratic Party, there are serious problems uh, with migration. You have to cope with it also on a national level. Het gevolg, de sociaal-democratische partij, jarenlang de grootste in Denemarken, krijgt klappen. Well, we've seen a long-term development where the social democrats since the late 1990s have lost votes. The main explanation for that is the immigration issue. Uh, the Danish People's Party started out as the main immigration skeptic party in the country. Then the liberals, you could say, joined to some extent, still with the Danish People's Party as the more extreme. In 2015 overtuigt de migratiecritische Deense Volkspartij meer dan 20% van de kiezers. En onder invloed van die druk op rechts sturen de Sociaaldemocraten hun programma bij. Over the past three, four years, the Social Democrats have changed their position on immigration to match that of the Liberals and the Danish People's Party. They've basically supported the vast majority of uh, the tightening of various immigration rules that has been proposed by the uh, current government and the Danish People's Party over the past three, four years. So, for instance, supporting large parts of the so-called ghetto uh, laws uh, that are intended to break up uh, uh, neighborhoods, socially disadvantaged neighborhoods with many immigrant uh, inhabitants. You could say that we have now realized that a lot of, a lot of our old voters, when they said to us, we have problems, they decided from the middle of the 90s until now to vote on the Danish People's Party. And we are saying now to those fair voters, we hear you. Om die kiezers terug te winnen en om de Deense welvaartsstaat te kunnen behouden, moet er ook een jaarlijkse limiet komen op het aantal migranten, klinkt het bij de partij. There is a limit to how many migrants that we can cope with in, in Denmark. Well, our policy is very clear. If you come to Denmark and you want to be a part of the Danish, uh, uh, Danish society, then you either have to work or you have to educate yourself and you have to learn Danish if you want to profit from the Danish welfare system. You have to contribute to the welfare system. Verder wil de partij ook inzetten op strengere grenscontroles, moet er een politieeenheid komen voor de repatriëring van uitgewezen asielzoekers en wil de partij ontwikkelingshulp stopzetten voor landen die hun migranten niet willen terugnemen. Well, if you look at the results that the Social Democratic Party is getting at elections around in, uh, in, around in Europe, it, we clearly have a problem as a social democratic movement with coping with the cries from, from our voters who are who are coping with the with social problems, loss of jobs, bad housing and so on and so on. And we have been able to make a clear strategy and create some solutions in people's everyday life. And do you think this is the way the Social Democratic Party in Denmark is going, is the right way? The result of the election will show whether it, this was the right way. We believe it.